So in this short animation, we're going to look at the kidney tubules. Okay, so substances like urea are filtered out of the blood and into these tubules. Uh, useful molecules and most of the water are then reabsorbed back into the blood. So we'll start our journey at a branch of the renal artery. And this contains the glomerulus or a ball of capillaries, which we will now observe. Okay, so we're now in this ball of capillaries, really magnified down, and blood containing waste plus useful molecule uh, and water is delivered from the circulatory system into these tubules. So this is also known as a Bowman's capsule, and it contains a large number of these glomerulus, and blood is filtered under high pressure, essentially through ultrafiltration, and waste plus some useful molecules plus some water is filtered into the kidney tubule for reabsorption. Okay, so useful molecules plus most of the water is now selectively being reabsorbed into the blood. If we go further in, we can actually observe this. We pass something called the loop of Henle, and this alters the salt concentration, so looking at osmosis, and this aids reabsorption of water and allows its collection back into the blood. So now, from this loop of Henle, the kidney can reabsorb water uh, through this long tubule, and the blood uh, now goes through into the renal vein this time. So the blood contains these useful molecules in water, but is now cleared of the wastes, which is now returned back into the circulatory system through the ureter to be excreted as urine, as we can see from this these yellow substances which are now being emitted from the tubule.